and changed and improved in the matter of its own techniques. It seems, Gordon, for example, that the women particularly have had a kind of explosion of difficulty in the things they're doing. Really, it's because the men's side of the sport is so old, Jim, and the really, the women have just begun competing in the last generation. And uh, starting from ground zero, of course, the progression of their difficulty has just been unbelievably fast. Well, why don't we compare the techniques of, say, 10 years ago with the techniques of today? Remember, there are four women's events. We have the vault, the uneven bars, the balance beam, and the floor exercises. In 1968, Vera Cheslowska won her gold medal with a simple piked front handspring, really an intermediate vault. Ten years later at the World Championships, Rhonda Swant was using a layout Sukahara, which is really a cartwheel onto the horse with a layout one and a half back off. Quite a contrast in a decade. In the 68 Olympics, Cheslowska's bar routine included simple fundamental moves from bar to bar. Her big trick was this, back straddle into a full pirouette. Probably wouldn't even be a compulsory routine in this day. This dismount, simple hecked off. Again, contrasting Rhonda's bar routine a decade later, she shows great similarity to men's horizontal bar. A variety of circles, right to handstands. And after this, she'll even show you a giant swing. Right here. And caps it off with Komenich's dismount. Ludmila Cherishteva, one of the all-time great women gymnasts. Her 1972 Olympic floor exercise routine was based on a firm foundation of balletic movements. And yet, as you watch the routine, it's distinctive in that there's almost a total absence of acrobatic movements. She does an aerial layover. But her big trick was just a simple back somersault. Yet as you watch her, you're impressed with the fineness, the elegance of the movement. Now, by contrast, in 1978, world champion Elena Mukina opens with a full twisting double back, a move that was previously confined to the trampoline. Later in her routine, she shows more great acrobatic moves, but you notice that the movement isn't as smooth, it isn't as elegant. It isn't the kind of movement you'd see in a ballet theater for sure. Now a tumbling move. And then she finishes her routine, amazingly enough, by another double back somersault. Tremendous difficulty. Quite a contrast in just 10 years. And then the balance beam, 1968 Olympic Games, Czechoslovakia and Anna Laskova. Her work is going to be very slow, very deliberate, and again, an absence of acrobatic moves. In fact, maybe the most difficult part of her routine will be a handstand lower to a forward roll, right here. An age group move appropriate for today's eight or nine year old performers. And our contrast is in the American Cup 1979, Tracy Talavera. Watch her acrobatic moves. There's a back walkover. She's so much more aggressive, she almost attacks her moves. Her routine, the foundation, I would think, is more acrobatic, less balletic, certainly riskier, as in that back somersault. Then she gets ready for a dismount, it'll be two back handsprings into a double twister. And remember, Tracy is only 12 years old. Here in New Jersey is a new, well-equipped gym. Not all our facilities are this glamorous. We took our camera to the Parkettes Gymnasium in Allentown, Pennsylvania.